Less tarp comes across a lot more money and soon it will have to cut even more routes. The transit system is asking their riders to speak up on what routes are most important to them. WDRB's Richard Essex is talking to riders and is hearing a lot of frustration from them. Richard. Well, TARC has a couple of concept maps out now. Remember, these are just concept maps and these were what they think could are routes that could be cut and which ones could be saved. Now, over the next couple of weeks, the transit authority is going to have several hundred listening sessions for people to put their input. Now, this is your chance to have your word heard or miss the bus. Ugly. Very ugly. How so? I used to get to work 15 minutes early. Now I get to work an hour late. John Reckham stood along Dixie Highway waiting for bus 10 to take him home from the grocery store. He's been riding TARC for almost 30 years, and he's ready for some serious changes for the better. Listen to the people who ain't in the meetings. Like these bus drivers, they hear what people are saying on the bus, you know, and these people ain't attending the meeting, but these are the people that is missing work or, you know, school's grid start. A lot of the kids is going to be caught in the crossfire, and it's just a mess when they could have just did better pushing it forward. The listening sessions come after TARC cut frequency to 19 routes and eliminated three altogether earlier this summer. The first of what is supposed to be hundreds of public meetings were held in a downtown ice cream shop. On the far side of the room were three maps, all of them concepts. And what TARC wants to be very clear is this is a work in progress. Because again, they're just ideas. But what do you like and what don't you like about each? We're going to use that feedback to bring to the board, and then the board of TARC is going to give direction moving forward for what the actual draft plan will have. Of the two concepts, one will have fewer routes but more riders, the other more routes with less frequent stops. But again, none of the concept maps are set in stone. Reckham says that he would certainly attend one of the public meetings if he could spare the time and if the bus takes him close enough to the meeting. I would tell him nothing like that is ever a smooth transition but they could do better. Reckham waited a good 20 minutes for his bus to arrive. It was a few minutes late, but still, nonetheless, he dodged the rain and waited patiently, the same way he's done for 30 years. Once the listening sessions are complete, TARC plans to have a draft put together at some time this fall, and then they'll seek some more input. They expect to have a final plan done sometime by the end of this year, and they will put that plan into place sometime next summer. With photojournalist Brian Manuel, Richard Essex, WDRB News.